In March of 2023, the global thermostat somehow broke. And we are five standard deviations above the mean and holding and holding for seven months now. We are in a new reality. In the Caribbean and the Atlantic, in Florida, the temperature got to record levels this year, 2023. Unprecedented. Water temperatures of 101 Fahrenheit in some of the shallows, 38.4 degrees centigrade. And now it's moving towards the Pacific. In Fiji, we've discovered a new way to keep corals alive in the face of mass bleaching. We go to the hottest reefs where corals can survive these hot temperatures, or at least they can survive 34 or 35, or like in the 90s in Fahrenheit. And we move these adapted corals out to cooler water before the bleaching comes. Due to this increased threat, we are now creating the biggest rescue reef in history in Fiji. These letters are over 15 meters high. And it says Ula. Ula means life. Now that we have a strategy to save these corals, we're not just stopping in Fiji with Bula Reef. We're actually now going out into the region. Right now, a massive heat wave is heading for Tuvalu. And we're in Tuvalu right now, working to save the hot pocket corals by moving them out to cooler waters. We're, we're not doing this alone. It's the communities, it's the Kapule, the traditional council, and the government of Tuvalu. We are working together in unison to save these hot adapted corals before they die. Now I have a message to the COP28 delegates. You're there for a reason. You have been chosen to be there. I have six Pacific Island grandchildren with my blood. And these children are not gonna see coral reefs like we have seen them and when I grew up fishing and swimming in the sea. <laughs> we need to come together and develop a strategy to save these peoples, these reefs. And if we can do that, we can save this world.